From the moment of my open eye, been looking for a guided light to lead me on my way. Yeah, lost, struggling to make the top. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Andrea Marie. I'm a full-time working mom and I have three little ones and I don't know about y'all but a lot of things in my house have been getting severely neglected so we are going to be tackling those things today. So starting off here in the kitchen, Brianna Kay over at Bits of Brie had reminded me to go ahead and clean out my dishwasher filter and come to find out my dishwasher doesn't have a filter. <laughs> so I guess check and see if your dishwasher has a filter, but the outside, the gasket, all of these little areas that kind of get trapped definitely needed to be wiped down. So I found this pink stuff on Amazon. I got it for the putty to clean out the stove, but this set came together, so I really wanted to try the multi-purpose spray. So I do like it. Um, I don't think it's groundbreaking, but I definitely think that it works as a multi-purpose spray and it smells pretty good too, so definitely a win there. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and refill the jet dry container uh, that's on the door here, and then I'm also going to drop in a plank to go ahead and clean the inside of the dishwasher as well. wouldn't be a cleaning video without an entire sink full of dishes so I'm gonna go ahead and get these dishes loaded up into the dishwasher and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to clean out my garbage disposal and link down below in the description box all the products that I used. I picked most of these up in store um, at Walmart mostly except for the things that I found on Amazon but like I said I'm gonna link everything that I used below. So I guess you just drop these things in and rinse them out, run the disposal and it cleans the gears up pretty good and it actually worked because when I looked down into the garbage disposal all of the gears looked really nice and shiny so it, it seems to have worked. I don't notice any smells coming out of my drains usually so it's not something that really bothers me but I definitely knew that it needed to be cleaned out because I hadn't done it in a while so at least the smells aren't bad but this one had a nice lemon fresh scent and it definitely made the kitchen smell like lemon fresh and that's my favorite kitchen scent <laughs>
So here is your friendly reminder that your Keurig needs to be cleaned. <laughs> So I got this cleaning kit from Walmart. It comes with one descaling pouch and two pods that kind of, have, I guess, baking soda in them, but they got like foamy, frothy, and cleaned out the pod keeper up top there. Um, I guess it worked. I would say that this probably isn't even worth it and that vinegar works best, honestly. And I have to say that it definitely left a bitter taste to the coffee, even though I brewed this through and then did two full carafes full of hot water or regular water after I had already pulled all of this through the container on the side there. So I don't know. Um, I would definitely just stick with vinegar. It's probably not even worth getting this kit if you wanted to get the pods to clean out the little pod keeper where like you stick the pods in the top, then you know, you do you, you know what I mean. But I think vinegar probably works best and it doesn't leave a bitter aftertaste. You held me back when I tried to move on from your life. So you stole my life with clarity. So hold me back, now you're here. Cause I'm mad, show no fear. Wanna let you know just how it feels. Keurig was clean I moved over to the refrigerator to clean the front of it and the ice maker and the water dispenser I have three kids so keeping any of these appliances clean in any of these cabinets spot free street free fingerprint free is nearly impossible but you know what we do our best I do have to say though it's a little bit embarrassing that I have not cleaned this fridge in nearly enough time so brace yourself it's gonna get ugly here in just a second You, you've been hiding in the shadows way too long You, always thought that you were weak, but babe, you're wrong Yeah, you, better step into the light, just give it a try Think that it's time you let that spark out so while I say the fridge hasn't been cleaned out in quite a while, I want to preface that by saying that I definitely clean out the fridge and get rid of old food weekly. Um, I just don't wipe it down every single week. So it definitely needed a good wipe down, but there was nearly nothing in here that needed to be tossed because I do clean the fridge out regularly. So yeah, it just really needed a good wipe down. Shouldn't doubt 
yourself cause you're a work of art moments for y'all <laughs> this is really embarrassing that this bottom of the fridge got so yucky but I am happy to say that it's nice and clean now so moving on <laughs> I am restocking my produce drawers or at least cleaning them out and reorganizing them I like to keep a nice organized produce drawer so that I know what I have and that everything is getting cycled through so that nothing is going bad I don't have to throw away much produce because I do keep it nice and organized so I use this little front basket, or I'm going to use this little front basket for all of my uh, onions, garlic, things like that. The little basket on the white basket with the gray sides on it is for any produce that has been cut already and needs to be used up quickly. And then I just usually stick lettuce and salad mix on the side there. So this is my produce drawer. <laughs> All right guys, this oven, oh my goodness. So all of this down here on the bottom is ash from me turning on the oven self-cleaning feature about a month ago and never coming back to get it all out of the bottom. So um, I figured that turning that on about a month ago would have made all of this easier to clean up and it definitely got majority of the stuff that was stuck on the bottom off. But I really wanted to try this pink stuff and I did clean the door with it and I started on the inside, but you know, I had to admit defeat so after I scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed for a good probably 30 minutes and Josh is trying to tell me <laughs> I missed a spot but after I scrubbed and scrubbed I could not get it as clean as I wanted to so yeah we just wound up sticking it on self clean mode again and cleaning it up the next morning I told you every single time don't you worry you would always call me at the wrong time so you up to oh don't you get that it's just stupid must admit defeat I could not get my oven as clean as I would have liked it and that's because I've been lazy and not cleaning it as much as I should have been so 
we are turning the oven on self-clean mode to get all of the burnt stuff burnt off basically um couch is squeaky <laughs> So uh, once that is done in about four to six hours and it's all nice and cooled down, what I did before was I just kind of wiped off the bottom. I self-cleaned my oven a couple of months ago and like I said, was too lazy and didn't scrape off all of the ashes on the bottom. So yeah, plus that oven is about 20 years old, if not older. Um, so yeah, it has been neglected for a number of years before I moved in. Um, sorry, NASCAR is on and I'm getting distracted. So anyways, um, I'm going to let that self clean and then I am going to get back in there with the pink stuff. I think it really cleaned the door really nicely. Um, it got some of the cloudiness off of the window, which I was really surprised about. The spray, I'm not so sure about. It's uh, It just acts as like a multi-purpose spray. Um, I haven't seen anything spectacular come out of it, but this is my only... Sorry, NASCAR is going on outside too. <laughs> this is only my first day using it, so uh, I'll have to keep trying it out and I'll let you know how I feel about it. Uh, like I said, not sponsored, so these are my honest thoughts and opinions about this product, but I do like the putty so far, so um, yeah, we're going to probably end this for today and I will get into some of the other stuff tomorrow because I have the day off, so I'm going to tackle it then. I've been through heartaches, I've been to heaven, I've done my best and my worst, learned my lessons, no matter how hard my life would treat me, I'd always get right back up now. So I don't remember if I painted this room on camera or if I did this room before I started my YouTube channel, but it's been at least a year since this room has been done and painted and redone. Um, way to go. <laughs> and we still have not put baseboards in. And the reason for that is because the person who lived in this house previously to us put tile on top of tile and they only tiled right up to the baseboards and then put quarter round down. So it was really lazy. Um, and the gap over here is really large, so I would have to, again, get baseboards and quarter round. And I don't know if you've been to Home Depot or Lowe's lately, but you have to take out a loan to get plywood, any type of wood, anything. <laughs> so it's just not in the budget right now, so we will just continue to clean the area, the gap over there of all the crumbs and stuff that kind of get stuck. And then I have no clue what got stuck on the side of this table, but... The pink stuff wasn't getting it off, the scrubby wasn't getting it off, so I just kind of got an abrasive sponge and scraped it off, so <laughs> it worked. And I don't know about you or your kids, but how does the side of the table get this filthy? Like, I feel like my kids are just over here and sticking their feet up on the edge of the table, like barbarians. Who knows? But, yeah, kids, you know. But at least it wipes right off. I definitely love the magic eraser for this area because it gets it real clean, real easily, and minimal elbow grease. I don't need no one to say you're complicated. 
Ah, uh, my favorite floors in the house. I'm kidding. I absolutely hate this tile. I think it's like the worst looking tile ever. Welcome to my 70s style home. <laughs> but um, I think it was two years ago, three years ago, I resealed this grout and I painted it to be its original color. And this is how dirty it gets from dirty feet, mop water, etc. So at least once a year, I do like to come through and I like to scrub the grout with this grout brush. And because it's already sealed, I will just use like a bleach spray um, on unsealed grout that is still, I guess, porous or absorbs a lot more. As long as it's not dark grout, I use toilet bowl cleaner to go ahead and get it all nice and shiny and restore it back to its original color. And then you would want to seal it after that. And then it will be a lot easier to clean, trust me. So. I will let you enjoy this before and after time lapse because it is the, the, it, it just looks so much cleaner and it just makes me so happy. And I did not do underneath the furniture because we just ran out of time. So eventually I will move the couches, move the ottoman, move the whole carpet and get all up under there. But for the purpose of this weekend, it it's clean. It's clean where I can see for now. <laughs> So I know I just redid this bathroom, but I did not touch the inside of this cabinet because honestly, I was just so fed up with this project. It took over a month to complete, but that's because I was tackling it bit by bit on the weekends and whenever I had the energy after work. And I just, I couldn't even touch the underside of the cabinets, but because the bathroom looks so pretty, I felt like the underside of the cabinets really could use a good makeover. So. I am pulling everything out, going through everything, getting rid of the stuff that is expired or that we don't use anymore, that we don't really need, and getting everything nice and organized under here. So I'm starting on this side of the cabinet, and my method was to keep the towels and the toiletries and things like um, first aid, band-aids, things like that on this side, and on the other side it's going to be cleaning products and a few bath-specific items. <music> Just watch me break
Wish I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Mm -hmm. Everyone always keep falling in love again. What's wrong with them? I don't understand. Maybe it will pass by. Someone save me for a pass out. I'm too lonely to be done. I'm a drink at this page. to be someone else I would and like all of you mm -mm. I know that I'm obvious forget I made this way but why didn't I stay when I had the chance maybe it will pass by someone save me for a pass out I'm too lonely to be done in my drink at this page I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Mm -mm.
I'm thinking back on all those times When I feel close to from All that I could become Eager but too scared to climb Wanted to please my friends But it felt like the end of myself So this drawer often becomes a dumping ground for a lot of things that just kind of get left on the countertop and I really wanted to keep this drawer pretty minimal when it came to our needs for it. So on the left hand side of the counter, the left hand sink is what Josh and I usually use to brush our teeth, get ready, things like that. The right hand side of the sink, usually the kids use that one. So I tried to keep it separated in that way and I was trying to be mindful of that whenever I was putting the bins in here so that everything was accessible and that it wasn't too cluttered. I also, it, it took me forever to get a good organization in this drawer because I just couldn't figure out what I wanted to put in here and I wanted to maximize the space as well. So getting all of these different bins, actually these little blue ones that have the tooth, that are gonna have the toothpaste in them are pencil bins from Dollar Tree. All of these organizers are from Dollar Tree. So I kept it pretty, pretty inexpensive when getting all of this and organizing it all too. So the next drawer down, we keep most of our medicines in this drawer and we don't have a medicine cabinet so they are kept in a lower drawer. However, our kids are old enough to know not to touch this drawer unless we are present with them. They don't, they don't go in this drawer by themselves ever. So never fear, everyone's still safe. But I was going through all of these and checking all of the dates on them and honestly most of these expired last year. So it just goes to show you how often we actually need these medicines. and. To be honest with you, majority of these are allergy tablets for me and Lila because we have horrible seasonal allergies. So I also threw out a whole bunch of other stuff that was empty or nearly empty and that we never use, honestly. So this drawer definitely got a good makeover and a good overhaul and it has been thinned out significantly.
As for this bottom drawer, I'm just gonna kind of speed through this one because it's just a bunch of back stock and I am gonna go through all of our stuff uh, once it's all nice and organized and show you how I organized it and what we kept. Moving over to this last cabinet, we just have bath towels in here. A lot of our cleaning products for the bathroom are behind the towels. And then over to the left are just a bunch of things that just kind of need to be organized better. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all of this put into better suitable bins and get it all nice and organized in here. So I've tried so many times to get these cabinets clean. They're just, they're old, honestly. And in painting them, I realized how textured they really are. You can't sand them because it is a textured Formica and it would just eat away at the finished product. So it's, it's not a good situation. <laughs> it's very stained, it looks very ugly. I can't put contact paper on top of it because it doesn't stick. So it's just kind of a live with it, deal with it situation. But anyways, I am just gonna go ahead and get everything put back into this cabinet and call it because I am exhausted at this point. It's gonna be, gonna be so I dance through the long dark night Turning down all the city lights Take my hand and make this life Whoa, 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 incredible walkthrough of what my cabinets look like now so don't mind the kids giggling in the background all right so we've got some extra stuff back there a mirror and um, another function of beauty box so up here we have our washcloths down here we have hand towels 
with a little riser and Dollar Tree bins. I really wanted to cover this, but as I'm sure you probably guessed, the texture of it is not allowing the contact paper to stick. So we are left with very ugly cabinets. So whatever, I'm over it. <laughs> On this side, we have all of our first aid stuff. All right, so this over here is Delta Tisa's bandages, like for wrapping around things. <laughs> I don't know. Um, travel bag. Back there, we've got some extra stuff, some antibacterial soap, some uh, mouthwash, and clipper cleaner, clipper grease, whatever. Um, our hair clippers are back there. It's a wall. And then over here, you're probably wondering why we have so many Bath & Body Works sprays. We use these for our kids as good dream spray. So at night, they get two squirts on the top of their head and it helps them have good dreams. Down here, put cotton balls, extra Epsom salt, and Lila, for whatever reason, her hair is incredibly prone to lice. So we have lice preventative treatment and treatment treatment. Never a good fun time whenever that happens to any kiddos. <laughs> Um, here we have EpiPens, um, not antihistamine, triple antibiotic ointment, some gauze tape in there. We've got all of our, whoops, I can't even show you. And there we've got all of our band-aids, all of our gauze. Back there is my carpal tunnel brace and um, peroxide. And that's what this cabinet looks like. So this drawer has always given me trouble trying to keep it organized. Mostly it has to do with the kind of containers that are in it and all of these are from Dollar Tree. So we'll start back here. Um, I know it's probably an excessive amount of deodorant, but we do have three kids who are now in sports and are starting to stink. So over here, boys deodorant, over here, girls deodorant. I find that doubling up myself with a sweat proof and then a spray deodorant works really good just saying um beard balm for josh hair ties clips bows for lila this is my little face cleaner stays right there and then all of the dental hygiene products this is typically mine and josh's side this side is mostly for the kids except for the scissors but that's where they fit uh, mouthwash cups and toothpicks, toothpicks, um, flossers, um, regular dental floss, more regular dental floss. Those come in the kids care packages when they go to the dentist and then dental flossers because, uh, I had braces and I still have a permanent retainer in and that's how I floss my bottom teeth, uh, which you guys probably didn't care to know, but whatever. <laughs> Next drawer. This one has all of our medicines and stuff. Um, the kids know better than to come in the drawer and get medicine without us. So it's not a um, security thing. And yeah, so cough medicine, tummy medicine, tummy medicine, nighttime cough medicine, Advil, and a slew of allergy medicines because our kids tend to have bad allergies. Um, over here stuck on the side, I have my makeup brush cleaning thingy, um, a bowl and a brush for my face mask. Back here I have some coconut oil for when I want to do a coconut oil treatment on my hair. And then this was recommended to me by a friend for when I have really bad back pain. Oh my goodness. If you guys have muscle pain or back pain, mine actually turned out to be skeletal. So I don't know if this still works, but it definitely gives me some relief. This is like a bazillion times better than Icy Hot or Biofreeze. I love this stuff. Make sure you wash your hands after you put this on because uh, don't touch your eyes. Just saying. Um, this bag has Josh's beard trimmers in it and all of the little attachments. This sat outside, so it's kind of gross on the cap, but this is, um, is the generic version of uh, Biofreeze. We've got um, Caladrill back there, right? Yeah, Caladrill. Um, Vicks. 
some hydrocortisone, some hairspray, the boys gel for their hair, and then an old face scrubber of mine that I don't really use, but I keep just in case. All right, one more drawer down. So start in the back. I've got two boxes of hair dye. I typically go get my hair done at a stylist now, but just in case my hair does take two boxes. Um, these are night guards, some extra um, mouthwash for the kids, extra dental stuff back there, and then a saline solution for guests when they come over. Here, more extra dental stuff, a bunch of toothpaste. <laughs> Apparently, I didn't realize we had so much. Um, dental flossers, extra uh, mouthwash cups, Q-tips, and then I use these gloves for when I'm washing my hair during the week and I don't have to redo my manicure because it does tend to break down the glue. Um, or I use these when I'm mixing up meat, like ground beef, and I don't want to get it under my nails. So I use these for multiple different things. And once again, sorry about any echoes or background noises. We do have company over right now too, so. <laughs> All right, these two cabinets right here, we have all of our floor towels, like bath mat towels, and then pull this out and all of the cleaning supplies. I'm missing my tub and shower foaming cleaner from, um, I think it's Method that makes it. It's on its way, so. In here, we just have the Lysol toilet bowl jelly things, refill pack for the Clorox toilet bowl wand. I spray this in first to go ahead and let the toilet bowl sit before I scrub it with this. anti back spray by Method, some disinfectant wipes, and then a cup to rinse down the shower with my scrubby with Dawn dish soap in it that I wash the shower with. This is to get a deeper scrub, and then my Rubbermaid scrubby thing. Oh, I don't remember what it's called, but I'll link it down below. Um, some scrubbing bubbles bathroom cleaner, uh, some extra sponges, and my gloves. So that lives in here in this little bucket. Oh, and then over here, um, sterile saline and Josh's shaving cream. Josh's shaving cream there. He doesn't typically shave like close to need shaving cream. That's why it's kind of tucked out of the way. And these are just like rag towels that we use to step on when we get out of the shower. Nothing fancy. Um, start over here. Just some extra cleaners. Drano, toilet bowl cleaner, bleach spray, and kaboom. And more drain stuff. We also have Epsom salts that we use to dump directly into the shower. Um, down here we have some flushable wipes. And I keep baby wipes here because we do have friends that come over with kids, so just in case. This is my uh, laundry stripping agent, so I did make some of that and stuck it in there, and then a little scoopy cup for it. Um, I usually strip Josh's work clothes with that. Up here I have tampons for any guests that come over. I don't typically get a cycle to need them anymore because of my birth control, so yay for me. But I do keep those for guests. My self-tanner, um, I do like the Bondi Sand self-tanning dark. The, I don't think this is the two hour express. It doesn't say it on there, but I usually leave it down between two and three hours so it gets a nice even tan. Tanning mitt, back tanning mitt. And then I have a face brush in here to do my face. Um, back here we have my Smile Sciences teeth whitening kit. Tiffany Beeston recommended that and I am actually liking it a lot. I use it, I try to use it once a week, but I don't always remember. This is Lila's conditioning treatment that we put in her hair sometimes. Uh, face wash and my shaving cream. Uh, yeah, that's about it for my cabinets. So I just realized that I never closed out this video, so thank you guys so much for sticking around if you've made it this far. I know it was a long one, but it was so needed. Oh my goodness, the house feels so much cleaner now. It's so much more relaxing to know that all of these little jobs that I've been putting off are finally done. So thank you guys so much for joining me here today. If you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to my channel. We are well underway to getting to our goal, 
and I hope that you stick around and you hit the notification bell also to be notified whenever I post new videos. I do post every Tuesday, mostly every Tuesday, right around 6 p.m. Or at least I try to, unless there's technical difficulties. But anyways, this video is long enough, so I will see y'all in the next one. Bye, y'all.